From this evening, I must give the British people a very simple instruction. You must stay at home. What's up vlog? This is Marcus, the man behind the vlog. Uh, we're currently under total lockdown. Hey vlog, just checking in. Uh, so we just pushed go on full remote working for Charged Up. It's the first time we've ever done it, so it's pretty strange for everyone. Um, but luckily we are uh, quite well set up in terms of remote working so far with Slack, Zoom, FaceTime, the lot of it all now in full effect and everyone just staying in their homes. It's new for everyone, but we're trying to push through it. We were already doing uh, remote work. The tech team was doing Wednesday. We're using Loom now to record videos as well. We use Clubhouse to track our progress across different work streams. What I think about the coronavirus? Well, it's a big bugger. I'm Italian and the situation in Italy, as you probably know, is pretty bad. And I'm really glad Charge Up embraced this full on. Working from home enables me to spend more time with my family. I don't waste two hours uh, commute to go to the office. Hello world, I'm Pam. I'm head of product at Charged Up and I wanted to share how we're uh, transitioning into a work from home becoming kind of the new normal. Uh, as you can see, I've already embraced the very official casual <laughs> uh, dress code with regards to making the most out of being at home. It's been really nice to ensure that there's a few regular checkpoints so that you do actually still feel human and you still get to chat with people. And we're also implementing kind of like casual hangouts. So having little paired conversations where everyone's just having a coffee together on a one-to-one -one setting and it feels like you're still being able to have a coffee break with a team member instead of just in proper meetings with agendas and outcomes. And it's really great to see how well other teams that didn't typically work this way have very quickly adjusted and are still able to get a bunch of stuff done regardless of not just being able to quickly kind of tap on the shoulder and, and make collaboration happen. Cafes, pubs, bars and restaurants to close. Tonight, as soon as they reasonably can, and not to open tomorrow. So having heard the news last night uh, that the majority of our, our partner venues are actually going to be forced to close, uh, we've decided to put our heads together and figure out uh, how we can actually do something to help this situation. So this is where I'm happy to announce Cleaned Up. We're temporarily rebranding in order to distribute hand sanitizer stations to venues up and down the UK that are most at need. So we're going to be starting with uh, reaching out to hospitals, uh, supermarkets, the places where people really have to go. Now that the project's announced, we can finally start getting these units into some key venues across the UK to keep the workforce moving, to keep the workforce clean, and also for when people start to return to, to normality, that they realize that there still are sanitizer stations available to build that trust back up um, in, in daily life. So we're doing everything we can to get these units put in place. We're having lots of fantastic conversations as of right now, and hopefully in the next few weeks, we'll start to see something more concrete as we iron out the finer details. And then finally, you can use our new cleaned up stations out where you see them. We've already been working on and buying different things, a big five litre collapsible bag, a hand pump. How can we get this into the brand new charging unit? So we actually have 150 of these units just sitting there doing nothing. So take out the batteries that are usually in here, replace it with as much hand sanitizer as we could potentially fit within this unit. So things have moved on pretty quickly over the last couple of days since we launched the Cleaned Up project. Um, I've just come off a call with one of the largest uh, supermarket chains in the UK who are very keen for the product, which is great to see. We're also speaking to a lot of our alcohol brands that we're working with on separate projects before the crisis who are actually starting, which is amazing from them, to turn their distilleries or facilities into hand sanitizer production facilities. I think it's been really interesting to see how the business community across the world has responded to this. A lot of startups that have been affected 
really badly, but they're still carrying on to make sure that they can make some sort of impact to help with this crisis. Particular shout out to the likes of Brewdog who actually set this trend going in terms of production of hand sanitizer and, and donating to hospitals and to locations that need it the most. How are you guys getting on? How's, how's life in the uh, work from home land, James? It's an interesting one. I, I miss the office. Definitely got to think about like uh, structuring your day differently as well. Figuring out where to work that's like more like efficient and productive. And... I, I just keep trying to move around the house because otherwise you just end up sat in like the sofa all day. And... That's the thing. Yeah, figuring out that bit is like is the difficult bit. I made a deal with our local corner shop to that he would text me if he gets any loo roll. <laughs> Otherwise, I think I'll just nick some leaves off some trees. <laughs> yeah, you can do the Asian way. Just have a little uh, bidet, like splash some water. We have an ass shower for you. <laughs> Here you go. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have a bidet, so that would be our sink. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, totally. That's what my grandma used to do. She was hardcore. <laughs> Hello. Oh, great. Thank you. Just buzz you in. Thank you very much. Do I need to sign for anything? No, we have to keep the distance. Oh, yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. Enjoy. Jubel beer has finally arrived. Thanks, Hugo. Ready to get back to work. <sighs> to work on the new landing page. Hello. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Oh, nice. Friday beers with the team online. <laughs> From the van. This is my setup. I've managed to get myself a little admin assistant. Hey guys, I just wanted to show you my home office space. So I've been trying to move away from this couch. Some days I work here. I like to take this working from home thing quite seriously. This is the basil plant. 